what's going on guys, it is Zone Wrecker, and today I'm going to share with you my top 5 picks on the HTC Vive. Yes, top 5 games selected by me, and uh, thank you to HTC for reaching out and offering to sponsor this. They have been well aware of my support for the platform and wanted to give back, so thank you to them. Alright, so in spot number 5 I've got Accounting VR. This is a game that you guys saw me play through not that long ago on this very channel, and I had a lot of fun with it. The only thing that really holds it back from a higher spot is the fact that it's more of an experience. It's an interactive experience. Almost like an interactive TV show or a very short movie. But gameplay-wise, it's more of an on-rails type of experience. Now, with that said, accounting VR goes a really long way in showing more of the wild side of what's possible on the platform. It doesn't just have to be shooter games or puzzle games or driving games or space games. You can also have these interactive experiences with top-notch visuals and excellent voice work. In this case, by the guys behind Rick and Morty. If you have a Vive, Accounting VR is a title that you must try. Alright, and next up at number 4, we've got Job Simulator. Also a game that you guys saw me play through here on my channel. And I had a ton of fun with it. What I liked most about it is that it took the concept of working and made it fun. Job Simulator shipped with four modules. The Auto Mechanic, the Store Clerk, the Gourmet Chef, and the Office Worker. And each was unique in its own way. They all had different tasks to do and things to mess around with. I also really appreciated all of the humor that was sprinkled into Job Simulator throughout, from beginning to end. And especially when you encounter the variety of different characters along the way as they try to simulate what it was like to work as a human. Much like Accounting VR, Job Simulator is very colorful and a lot of fun. It's something that I feel that anyone who has a Vive should absolutely play. And at number three, I chose the Brookhaven Experiment, the first FPS game that really got me hyped on the Vive when I first got the hardware. And at that time, the Brookhaven Experiment was really just a demo, but the full game is now out, and they added a bunch of stuff that I was really hoping for, including new weapons, new maps, even a little campaign that you could play through, along with a bunch of other stuff from explosives to charms and different types of ammo and upgrades. Now what I really like about the Brookhaven Experiment is the fact that it's a scary FPS with enemies coming from multiple directions. You may be focused on a harder opponent in front of you, meanwhile you've got enemies coming up from behind or to the sides that can lead to some very scary situations. Now of course being reliant on a flashlight or a gun mounted light with limited battery power helps up that tension plus the fact that there are increasingly difficult waves of enemies coming at you. Overall, the Brookhaven Experiment just scratches that itch for a scary type of experience while also tapping in to almost like a roguelike element as you try to survive the waves. If you have a vibe, the Brookhaven Experiment is another game that I highly recommend picking up. And number two, I've selected Serious Sam VR The Last Hope, which is a title that I've not posted a gameplay video on yet but I've had a ton of fun with thus far. It's an early access, so it's not fully released, and the developers are planning on adding a whole bunch of other stuff, but as it is right now, it is a must-buy, in my opinion, on the HTC Vive platform. Now, the main reason for that is despite being an early access with development scheduled all the way into 2017, right now it is one of the most polished and fun experiences on the Vive, especially on the single-player side of things. Now with the current Early Access version, there are two worlds to play through with a number of different environments in each and you battle your way through hordes of monsters to get to boss battles. And along the way, you're collecting resources to buy weapons with, including weapons as powerful as a minigun. Yes, you can actually wield a minigun and believe it or not, you can wield two at the same time, which is a blast. Overall, the gunplay in Serious Sam VR feels fantastic. The visuals are great, the sound effects are great. Overall, it's one of the most promising games on the Vive, and it's a title I highly recommend if you are into single-player FPS experiences. And last but not least, my number one pick for the top five games on the HTC Vive. It's Onward. It's a game that I've not had a chance to post yet, but I hope to in the very near future because I've been having a ton of fun with it. Now I should note that Onward is a military simulation, so it's very different from the other FPS type offerings on the platform, but that's what makes it so special. Onward is a game where your weapons actually have recoil, especially if you're not securing the weapon with both hands. Beyond that, you have to keep track of the amount of ammunition that you have left in each of your magazines as you hold your weapon. And if it comes time to reload, you've got to do it yourself. That includes dismounting the magazine, popping in a new one, and charging the next shot. 
Now all these extra real world steps also apply to things like pulling out your knife, your pistol, or even your grenades, and if you need to revive an ally or heal yourself, you've got to inject yourself or others with a syringe. Now I haven't even gotten into the best part, this is all taking place in a 4 versus 4 multiplayer environment. Yes, you are playing with other players who are also facing the same challenges as you, as you go forward in the battlefield on objective based maps. Now I should note that it did take me a little bit to get used to the style of movement in Onward using the trackpad, but once I did, it became by far my favorite game on the HTC Vive. If military simulations interest you whatsoever, this is by far one of the best games on the platform and in PC gaming in general. It offers an experience that's really like no other, and I highly recommend checking it out. Now guys, that wraps up my top five games on the HTC Vive. Thank you again to HTC for reaching out and sponsoring this video and supporting creators like me who have gotten behind the VR movement. If you're interested in the HTC Vive, please be sure to click the link on screen right now or in the description that will take you to a page showing the top five games on the Vive that I selected along with hardware options that are out there. I should also note that Alienware has a $200 off coupon for Alienware VR Ready Systems. So be sure to check that out as well. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time.